Finally, actually stopped. I'm actually back in Bronson. I was actually in Archer when I made that video with the RC fixed wings airplane and the rain update. It was actually a better spot over there, but again, the rain just would not stop. So I'm over here in Bronson, back in Bronson here for um, US 27 alternate, one of the main roads. And right now I'm actually waiting for satellites. It's saying that I have about 11 satellites. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. I don't know why I'm not really hearing the voice of the little person that said that thing has been set or whatever. I think the volume is going down on the phone. Let me go ahead and move it. You check it out. The volume is actually all the way up, so I don't know what was that about. Let me go ahead and put the phone back in the slot. So give me a minute, you guys. I didn't mean for none of this to happen. They got the freaking button again that we just pressed. Okay. 12 satellites. And let me not go ahead and waste any more battery. Again, this is Adrian from Major Mateo Drones, bringing you the range test. My first range test using my DJI Mavic Air 2. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it. Make sure that you share the video. Give the video a thumbs up. And make sure that you also go ahead and hit that bell notification to stay up to date with my channel. Let me go ahead and get it up. And when I'm coming back, I'm actually gonna show you guys a little something that I learned with this drone. Um, I'm only gonna be flying it on normal mode. So let me go ahead and take off and I'm gonna take off with the app. Take off, and the home point the has recording. been updated. Please check it on the map. And the wind is blowing a little bit. The wind is blowing at about five, six miles an hour. Full stick forward. Then go ahead and go up a little bit more. I'm just gonna stay right here. Let me go ahead and take it up to about 300. There you go, 308, 307, 308. And I'm traveling at about 23, 24 miles per hour. Make sure that I'm about 1300 feet from takeoff point. Battery is at 94% already. It's saying that I have about 18. 18, 19 minutes worth of flight time. And again, I'm only doing the screen recording on this one. I do not have an SD card yet. I'm actually waiting for the SD card to get here. Due to the fact of this COVID-19 coronavirus BS going on, um, Amazon just taking a sweet time on certain items for you to receive them. It almost seems like I'm a freaking Prime member for nothing right now because you can't even call customer service and speak to somebody. The answering machine will actually let you know that you can't even talk to a live person and hang up the phone on you. It's ridiculous. I am used to certain customer service requirements. Maximum flight altitude reached. And again, I do not know why I'm not hearing the remote talking to me through the app. I'm not sure why. I'm hoping that my voice is being recorded. Otherwise, this flight will actually be a bust. And right now, I'm reaching almost a mile, still have full signal. 88% battery life, about 24 miles of flight, 24 miles, I'm sorry, 24 minutes of flight time.
and I'm just gonna be flying parallel with the highway. Okay, let me come out to the road a little bit more so my signal will actually be better because I was actually by a building trying to stay in the shed because it's pretty hot outside and I've already reached a mile traveling at about 23 miles per hour reaching 6,000 feet from takeoff point and again Adrian here from Adrian Mateo Drones this is my first range test using the DJI Mavic Air 2 6,500 feet from takeoff point, traveling about 24 miles per hour. Battery showing about 83% battery life, about 17 minutes worth of flight time. Seven thousand feet from takeoff point. Still traveling pretty nice. Oh, got my first hiccup of signal. Let me come out to the road a little bit more. Full signal right back again. I guess I was interfering with the building. And again, I'm flying parallel with the uh, US 27 with the highway. It's showing that I'm traveling at about 25 miles per hour now. I'm about 8,600 feet from takeoff point. Signal's still pretty good. Oh, signal dropping a little, again a little bit. Let me come out to the road just a bit. Oh, got my first hiccup when it comes to the signal. Let me see if I'm gonna get at least 10,000 feet from takeoff point before I have to bring this baby back. Still going. Still moving along pretty good. Looks like the signal's coming back up again. 17 satellites, still have about 17, 18 uh, minutes of flight time, up to 19, 75% of battery life. And I've reached the 10,000 feet from takeoff point. Eleven thousand feet from takeoff point, and I'm out pretty much all the way to the maximum height. Seventy-three percent battery life. Eighteen minutes of flight time. Seventeen satellites still going pretty strong. Twenty miles, twenty miles per hour. Okay. We're going to take the gimbal down a little bit. Let me bring it right back up a little bit. FPB is still pretty good. Signal is still pretty good. 70% battery life. About 15 minutes of flight time. I've already reached the 13,000 feet from takeoff point. Holy cow. This thing is a beast, the DJI Mavic Air 2. And my remote is getting a little dark. Oh, so it's hard for me to see. Let me go ahead and uh, brighten up the phone again. Nope, it's all the way. Okay. All these little pop-ups. Signal going down. Still have about 13 minutes of flight time. And when I reach 15,000 feet, I'm gonna bring it back up. About 65% of battery life.
Okay. 22,000, I'm sorry, 22 miles per hour, 16,000 feet from takeoff point. So I'm pretty much a little over um, three miles. Low battery aircraft returning to home. Let me go ahead and return it back because I don't need any issues. Go home. Returning back home. And this is what I'm actually going to show you guys right now. It's pretty much coming back home at about 23 miles per hour. If I actually press the throttle right stick forward, it will actually increase your miles per hour. See? So at first it was actually coming back. Let me do it again. A normal return to home is at 22 miles per hour. If I hit the, fo the stick forward, the right stick throttle stick forward is going to boost it up to about 29 uh, miles per hour. Also, when it comes to this drone, this is something that I actually learned today is that if you actually press down on the screen, you can actually move your gimbal left up there goes the motor right there kind of like when it comes to my DJI Mavic 2 zoom pretty much that's the ambulance sorry about the noise Okay, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. And I still have about 15 minutes of flight time, 16. Still have 56% uh, battery life. Still have about 12,000 feet from takeoff point. Again, coming back at about 29 miles per hour. So it's coming back pretty strong. Let me go ahead and go back into the shade because it's pretty hot outside. And I'm so glad that actually on the DJI Mavic Air 2, DJI actually went ahead and toned down the return to home beeping noise that is so loud on the Spark, the Mini, um, the Mavic Air, and also on the um, DJI Mavic 2 Zoom and the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Oh my God, that noise is so obnoxious. But in this one, you could barely hear it, which is a plus to me. All right, coming by pretty strong. Still have about 10,000 feet, 10, feet remaining to make it all the way home. 53% battery life, about 15 minutes of flight time. Got 19 satellites, still coming back pretty nice. And I will say that this is actually a successful flight. Um, I reached a little over three miles, which is actually pretty good. Um, I like that, I could have actually taken it further if I would have actually got over to the road a little bit more, but I don't want to take that chance with so many cars coming. I'm moving so fast. Okay. Still have 51% of battery life. Signal's pretty much pretty strong. 15 minutes of flight time. Still have a little over 8,200 feet from takeoff point to go. I am loving the DJI Mavic Air 2. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Still have a little beef when, uh, with DJI for actually changing the style on the DJI Mavic Air 2. I wish they would actually kept it like the DJI Mavic Air 1. I love that body style. I think that joint is amazing. I love it. I wish they would have just left it as that. Just kind of did a little bit of you know, body improvement, you know, just change it up a little bit, but don't make it look like the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom or the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, which pretty much that's what they did. This one actually looked like the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro baby brother. That's pretty much what it looked like. Okay, uh, a little over a mile to go. Again, still coming back at 29 miles per hour. 
Still have 47% of battery life, now 46. Still have a, about 13 minutes on 50 uh, seconds worth of flight time. 19 satellites, still coming back pretty strong. My next uh, video that I wanna make, I wanna go ahead and make a precision, precision landing difference between the DJI Mavic Air 1 and this DJI Mavic Air 2 and see which one actually um, does the more accurate um, precision landing. So be on the lookout for that one. And I'm hoping that somebody uh, like Master Air Screw come out with some uh, low noise Master Air Screw propellers for this one. Compared to the Ma DJI Mavic Air 1, it's pretty quiet, actually. You know, but still. It could be a little quieter. All right, still coming back at about 29 miles per hour. Still have a, a throttle full stick forward to kind of help it. A little over 2,300 feet from takeoff point. 43% battery life. Still have about 12 minutes and 45 seconds of flight time. Still have 19 satellites. Full signal, still coming back pretty strong. And right now I'm actually gonna let go. I'm gonna let go of the um, stick and just let it come by by itself at normal speed because it's actually it's actually pretty close so I don't have to worry about the distance anymore all right about 800 feet from takeoff point 41 percent battery live still have 12 minutes of flight time I can actually see it. All right, let me go ahead and bring the gimbal down and see if you guys can actually see my beautiful truck. And there's my Landing. truck right there, right next to the my local um, Ace Hardware. And it's landing right now. Let me make sure that it lands on the landing pad and not around the wires. And it's coming down pretty smooth. It's coming down at about six and a half miles per hour coming down pretty fast and if there's one thing that I noticed this one actually do not say precise take of a precise landing like the DJI Mavic um, Air 1 and the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom and the DJI Mavic 2 Pro so I don't know if it's going to correct itself and land on the landing pad which it doesn't look like it it's actually landing, holy crap, about five feet from the landing pad. They completely missed the landing pad. Okay, that's pretty much all I got for you guys this evening. Again, Adrian here from Adrian Mateo Drones. This is actually my first range test using my DJI Mavic Air 2. And my next video that I will be making is going to be a precise landing comparison between the DJI Mavic Air 2 and the DJI Mavic Air. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I really appreciate you. Hit that bell notification to stay up with the, uh, to stay up to date with the channel. That's pretty much what I got for you guys. Thank you so much for you guys' support. I really appreciate it. A little over 1,500 subscribers. Thank you so much. And on a daily basis. You guys will actually notice that I actually put up a shout out to every single one of my subscribers. So every single one of you guys will get a shout out from me. Every single one of you guys. Again, thank you so much for everything you guys do for me. I really appreciate you. And make sure that you keep up to date with the channel because every Wednesday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern time, I will be doing my live stream. So again, good night, guys.